a lot of minutes tonight. He's an offensive talent. He does everything well and has a wide repertoire of moves in his arsenal. The Badgers will undeniably have their hands full trying to put a stop to his contributions tonight, Dick. The Badgers looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Second of all, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. The replay will give us a better look. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Almost lost the basketball. He's going nowhere. Going ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Now trying to feed the low block. Good fake. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. He draws a foul. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Tries a three. Drains the shot. They scored seven in a row. Go into the low block. Number 32, pump fakes for the bucket. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Kelly receives the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Number 12 gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. He buries it. shot fake with a great block and the ball goes out of bounds he keeps his dribble as they reset That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Looking for the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Trying to feed the low block. 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Another look. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Rivers is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Top of the circle. Knocks it down. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Coming inside. Got a guy right on him on the pass. Down inside. There's a double team waiting there. Maryland is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Rivers receives the ball. Down he goes, and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. My coach and he's sitting next to me as a coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? He lets it go. Goes in. Momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. He launches a three. He gets it to fall. He shoots from outside. He hits it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Terrapins have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. High post flasher is open. He looks for three. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. On the outside. Gave it up. Reese. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time storm. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. They work the perimeter. Thinks about the shot. The ball goes out of play. 
Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He takes it away. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. And we got a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Way off target. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. <laughs> High post screen. So effective that screen. That double team's too weak, Brad. Well, they ran through that like it wasn't there. Up fake. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. Pump fakes. There's the fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Stolen away. Ross handles the feed. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Well, for one, Dick, I'd like to see the hometown crowd get into this one. I'll tell you what, Brad, if I had a choice, I'd always elect to play at home. You got the fans on your side, you know where the dead spots on the floor are, the list goes on and on. Stop the ball. Will somebody stop the ball? Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 35 takes the pass in the paint. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Looking for a good shot. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Trying to draw some contact. Tickles a twine. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The center handles the pass. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And now they'll bring it up. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Wisconsin have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He'll go to the line. Makes the shot. Goes for the deep one. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Gave it up. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet. Fading away, impossible to block. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. From left to the circle. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Got a nice screen. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Goes up for two. Wisconsin are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Fakes a jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Ern's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. the dribble gives it up there's the pick there's the roll perfectly executed 
STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Looking for a good shot. High post screen. Wisconsin have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. We have a backcourt violation. Mistakes like that can add up in games like this. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Madison, Wisconsin is going crazy. Top of the circle. He drains it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He gets the rejection. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. <laughs> got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. From the top of the key. Nice shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Wisconsin have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. You betcha. He shoots from the top of the circle. He hits it from way downtown. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. The three ball, way off target. Leans in. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Here's a double team. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Opportunity for two for one. Got a wide open look. Screen was there, but the shot didn't pull. It counts, and the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't deny him on that play, Brad. That's huge. And we'll go to the free throw line. He gets it to go. It's 
Step out on that screener. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from the baseline. The Terrapins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Double team now, bad angle. On the outside, they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? He looks for the bomb. He shows the sweet touch. At the end of the first half, the Badgers are ahead by two. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? In my opinion, Mr. Nessler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Wisconsin shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. Number 45 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Number 35 with the steal. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Ball handlers in trouble. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he'll kick it back outside. That's a foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. They move it into the front court. On the dribble, gives it up, and now there's a whistle and a foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Maryland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The skip pass is picked off, pushes it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post. 
player flashing. There's the screen up on top. The human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. The center is going crazy. Madison, Wisconsin is going crazy. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Foul charge. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That's incredible. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. Got the shot if he wants it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Looking to run now. And the slam. The Terrapins are ahead by eight. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. He tries the three ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Sets the screen for his teammate. Steals the ball. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up, jumps into the defender, jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. The shot from the baseline. He hits the shot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Makes it.
Dick, when I see those types of things, he blocks the shot. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Picks off the pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. For two. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They go inside and, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Picked off on the dribble, gives it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. On the outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. off the pass. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket, he gets that one to fall. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Picked out of the air. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He tries to knock down the three. Wisconsin are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. 
Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket, and off the mark. Number 45 is pounded on his way up. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, Porter. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. First shot is good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Here's a double team. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, perfectly executed. Inside. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. High post flashes. Strips the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Replay of the night, baby. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Gets it back out. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. King receives the pass. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He takes the shot. He gets that one to fall. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Gave it up. Tries for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. The Badgers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. 
stolen. The center gets the pass. The fake. He shoots from right of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. the outside takes away the pass gave it up on the outside the shooting guard with the ball goes up for two drops the bucket despite the harm Set in. Great defense. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo of the game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Ten on the shot clock. For the deuce. Great shot. He dials long distance. Wisconsin are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. They work it back to the outside. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Foul called off the pro hop. The defender was caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, Dick. Not check him out. Who would have thought? With the cheerleaders. Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Number 15 steps out onto the court. Hey, they can't go too long without his presence like me. I can't go long without you. Second, they have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Timeout's been called, so let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. We get ready to bounce back into action here. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Makes an outstanding block. Rims out. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. The point guard takes the feed. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Continue to foul to stop the clock. 
Vic, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. This is the second shot. <laughs> Kelly handles the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. This crowd is unbelievable, though. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. He gets it to fall. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. Great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. Looking for a good shot. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Wisconsin found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.